Hello, this is an adaptation of the Cartwright tutorial. Since the original lesson had no audio, but is going to assist those of us that like to hear the lesson at hand as well as read the notes. But we'll use a goal pointer and the actual tutorial will use a white arrow. All movement, other than the goal pointer, is done by the original lesson. This lesson is about clipping a carving. Hello, this is Bud. We're going to about talk about clipping a carving. Uh, the clip carving function is a very powerful tool in the building complex designs. This tool allows you to clip a pattern to a boundary specified by you. Uh, the basic process is this. One, place your patterns to be clipped. Two, place the boundary geometry that the pattern will be clipped to. This geometry pattern must be a closed figure. A circle, square, uh, any shape. But the lines have to meet all the way around. It can be an auto shape such as a circle, an oval, a rectangle, but it can also be a custom clip of one sort or another. Uh, three, create a region. Um, for your boundary. And four, use the clip carving function to clip the pattern. You can choose to clip the pattern to the inside or the outside of your drawn boundary. Uh, Carverite is going to demonstrate this function by using the, an angel pattern and a circular region. One hint is that you will probably want to set the pattern feather to none. or you may see its artifacts. I'm going to bring this down so we see the whole thing. And they're going up and they're getting their circle. And they're going to make the circle the size they want. Oop. Be right back. Now they're going to center the circle. So they're going to cir uh, the center and they're going to make it centered left and right and top and bottom. And then they create a region that has a depth equal to that of the pattern which is one half inch. Because of the normal merge and because of the default depth of the region uh, is only a quarter of an inch, we will see that the floor of the region is higher um, than much of the background detail in the pattern. So they're going to change the depth to half an inch. And I'm going to move this so we can see what it says. We now have a region that overlaps our pattern to be clipped. Again, this region can be of any shape or construction. We will now use the clip carve function to clip the pattern to the boundary. The important thing to remember is when using this function is that the pattern is the object being operated on by the boundary region. This means that the pattern needs to be selected first before the clip carving tool is used. The inclusive clip will clip all parts of the pattern that fall outside of the region 
and the exclusive clip will clip all parts of the pattern that falls inside. The clip carving tool can be accessed under the carving heading in the main menu or by pop-up menu found by selecting the pattern and right-clicking the mouse while hovering over that area. The clip carving icon is not placed on the carving toolbar by default. The default but of course it can be added. Let me move this back. And I'm going to click next. And they're clicking outside. I'm going to carving. Looks like clip. And there you have just what was inside the circle. So let's see what it says. As expected, the result is a clean clip of the pattern at the circular region. You can still modify the circle diameter or position if desired to clip a certain part of the pattern. We will now change the clip to exclusive. One interesting effect we can employ with the exclusive clip is see when the feather is added to the circular region it produces a picture frame effect. the feather. Additional patterns can be added to your composition and clipped to the same region using the same process. simply add and mirror the shell pattern and then clip each of the circular region. As you can see, this tool is very powerful. Not only can multiple patterns be clipped to a region, but we can also use multiple regions to form a clipping boundary. In our case, we will add a square region over the top of the pattern and circular region. Since the pattern is already set to inclusive clip, it will also be clipped to the square or any other region that it intersects. Create a region using the square and set the depth of the pattern to half an inch.
and you can see they're just rotating and see what it's going to look like. And that appears to be the end of the lesson on clipping a carving.